This is an NG chocolate clown. This is something that we're going to be shooting for kind of soon, actually. Um, I really like the chocolate gene, and uh, you know, we're trying to do recessive in a lot of stuff as well. And Justin's the king of recessive. This is a chocolate NG clown. Super pretty. Very cool. You like the chocolate stuff. Yeah. You want to show the chocolate show the cool chocolate stuff, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> That one's I feel like it's cool for people that yes, don't is, have This is the mentality I have. That's, I, I have a hard time with myself in, in that in those shoes sometimes. But in my mind, like, if it's not a gene, it's not a gene. Right. <laughs> you know? That's where my brain goes. What's, <laughs> so we, we talk about peach. What do you think about the peach? Stuff? It's cool. It's just something that I'm still exploring, so we don't really know what its potential is yet. But yeah, we, we made the first kind of, these are our first peach head pies. That's single okay. gene. You see it looks a lot like an OD. You know, it's really yeah. bright, look pretty. It's got very peachy sides and overall. So that's what they look like if you just breed it to a normal and you get half these. Yeah. Half normals. So it's peach. Right, so then we did OD peach, which is basically, it looks like an OD, but it's got, again, brighter peachy on the sides. You see it at a halfway point where the peach really kicks in, you know? Yeah, for sure. down the sides and you, see, you really see it in the OD. Mm -hmm. Then we got Inchy Peach, which this is neat because it really kicks in on that, on those flanks there. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to yeah. push this mm -hmm. granite up top. Up. Yep. Um, OD Inchy Ooh. Peach. Yeah, now yeah. you're starting to really You really get... see the delineation yeah. line. And the overall color is just very extreme. Mm -hmm. And remember, Het Pied makes all these slightly darker. Het Pied darkens things typically. Yeah. So to see that much brightness on any kind of pie, and that's the whole thing, OD, Inchy, YV, Peach. Wow. But see how pure the orange is as you get Yeah, that up. yellow belly really kicks it, it up does, a notch, huh? It does, it does. So neat. So. Man. But this is the only clutch of peach I did this year. Um, this, this the head pods. And, but next year we'll have some more powerful stuff going and hopefully learn more about it. And more yeah. some, some supers and that sort, sort of thing. So you're showing me uh, chocolate. chocolate. I'm looking for it here as we're talking. Um, there it is. So this is a big one. You probably saw this one at Tim Lee. Oh yeah, it's yeah. The cool, the coolest. One of the coolest ball python they ever made. Definitely here. I'll leave that to you. Yeah. So this is. Was the full? It is chocolate spot nose yellow belly red stripe clown. Ah, uh, it's got the red strip too. It's got all the, all the stuff in there. I love the head on that. It's got. Yeah. It's like it was wearing a mask. You know? Yeah, yeah. These dots on the side are pretty cool. And just the red that's coming in on the edges. Mm-hmm. Really cool. And compare that to the Pompeii, right? Which is the. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in shed. You can see the colors. The Pompeii's got a lot more kind of rusty Red. reds, but this has got a lot more drama with the black going on. So it's yeah, yeah. kind of a, a matter of... What do you like? You know, what do you like, exactly. Yeah. They're both extremely neat. It's really cool. I like the jungle blue. A lot of people say that, <laughs> yeah. I like the red, I think it's cool. I like dark snakes then too. It's neat to see the contrast. Yeah. In pretty much all my combos, is I'm always looking... When I get good color, I'm like, how, how do I add contrast? When you have all contrast things, how do I get more color? You always try to find that balance. Mm -hmm. Because without the darkness and the contrast, the color has no context. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes the animals beautiful to, you know, to the eye, is having that. Yeah, man. The combination. And this is another one of those. What is that? <laughs> that is an OD Yellow Belly Blade Clown Pied. Look at that. It's like a little bright. Mm -hmm. A little bright. And that head is just so cool. It's like war paint. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It looks crazy. like the head doesn't belong to the body in a way. It definitely doesn't. Do you think that's paradox, or do you think that always happens? No, that's just that's always happens. We've made a few of them now. Wow, that is crazy. Wild stuff. That's like that's a wild snake there. All right, so you're you're showing us around a lot of really cool animals. Do you uh, what? Show us like one of your clutches that you're really working with and something that just hatched, maybe something real cool. So we have a GeneX Super OD. Super excited about it. You can check that out. Okay, let's check that out. All right, so these are three babies that came from 
OD and she yellow belly jean X pied. The one I tried to show over there was in the shed. So yeah. OD and she yellow belly jean X pied. These things are on fire. Right to an um, OD pied. So we have a double dose of OD <laughs> in there as well now. Okay, to an OD pied. Yeah. Uh, I would say, man, I would say that this one looks, uh, this one looks brighter than the other ones. Mm -hmm. As crazy as this, right. just because of that eye stripes there. So, but I guess they, they all kind of look the same. Yeah, they're all the same, definitely. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. So, um, I would say that this is a super orange dream and these two aren't. Is that okay. it's unpopular? Possible. No, it's, it's, it's <laughs> entirely possible that you're right. So with all this stuff, is also experimental, right? Because mm -hmm. we, make, we make it and then these exact things haven't been made, so we've heard these compared to, so we just use our best guesses, right? Yep. Then we find out years later if we're right or, right or not. Right. But this one we have pegged as Odie and she yellow belly pie. Okay. Okay. So we get the yellow belly, which show, which comes in really heavy on those speckling on the sides. You see how those, oh, yeah, 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 how yeah. they're real jagged yep. pattern saddles, okay? Okay, I can um, see that. And she adds all the pattern, and of course, OD. Right. Throws the, throws the sure. color up. Okay? And I think that this head, back of the head there, right. a bit of that out. And sure. Now, this one I believe is the Super OD version. So, mm -hmm. the same thing animal plus Super Orange Dream, which gives the, the next boost of color. Yep. And really makes it really pop. I can see that. I think this one is Super OD Yellow Belly without Inchi. Okay, so, see how it has the kind of the striping and everything? Mm -hmm. Where the Inchi really disrupts the pattern, makes it more yeah, blob yeah, yeah. and amorphous kind of thing. Yeah, and these, the eye stripes are a little thinner on this one than that. Right, the, the Inchi two. does add wider eye stripes. Yeah, yeah. For sure. But so Tough beautiful. call, yeah. yeah. And sometimes there's variation in, you know, like yes. what it actually expresses. So sometimes we'll get like the same snake or close and they'll look very different. They'll look very no different. different. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, we think that, because we, we get that, you know, too. And sure. we're always texting people, hey, what do you guys think about this? You know, and you text all your friends, you know. Of course, everybody texts Ozzy, hey, so the Orange Dream stuff, what do you think? And he's like, stop texting like me, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's tough awesome. because, you know, I, I complain about this sometimes. Like, I spend so much time carefully playing my clutches so that the babies are as easy as possible to tell. Right. They are, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and making what I want to make in my knowledge base to make it as easy as possible. And then I end up spending, like, an hour, hours a week. Mm -hmm. I didn't know people's clutches that didn't do that at all. Yeah. <laughs> so I paid the price. You know, one right. way or another, I'm paying the price. Um, right. I doing stuff that's really, really hard to tell. It is. And especially when people send you pictures of stuff and you're like, well, you're picture. using it with your camera and who knows, or your phone. And we don't have any context with yeah. other, other siblings or anything. Right. Um, and the reality is, is that when you get to a certain level in this, in this hobby is that you have to become comfortable with not knowing. Yeah. You have to. You know, that's mm -hmm. a really important part of it. You just have to know that Someday you're, you're going to doubt, that's okay not to know for a while in the meantime. Yeah. And just accept that. And so. these things are just smoking hot. Neon snakes. <laughs> you would make one of these with, with that snake from Miguel. Yeah. You know? We're going to give that a whirl. Very, very cool. We're, uh, you know, I think we're going to try to breed them to like 25 females, so. No. Oh, for sure. <laughs> 100. Yeah, we can probably get there. Yeah. <laughs> no, we have, we have, uh, we're actually pretty female heavy. We were just talking about it. We have like 13 males to like 85 females at the That's moment. the best way to be though. Yeah, we just need to, we'll probably end up picking up a couple more males over the next year or two. And you can find males though, you can't find adult females. So you yeah. that's the right side of, of the equation. Oh, agreed, you agreed. Be, so. Man, thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah. it. So, okay. So it must be lobbies up here, you know, each man is eating their different boys. And that's kind of goal is that uh, so we only have a 30% more um, actual animal space. Which okay. is, and we don't we're not looking to expand. We may we may grow slightly over time, but that's not the goal. Um, but we wanted to have some of the amenities that make life and work and everything more enjoyable. You know? Sure. We were never actually gonna build a snake building, but we needed a new house for the family and mm -hmm. you know, for him to make the move. Might as well, I, I would like the idea to make it a better, you know? Yeah, sure. So, so this room will be reception, uh, place for employees, and myself to eat lunch, and all that good stuff. Um, 
little logo on here. This is the special project room, which will be for all of our non ball python projects. Okay. Very cool stuff we want to keep in mind. Mm, sure. So, yeah. it's on there too. So. Oh. But all of the, you know, modern lizards and dark frogs and just cool oh, yeah. stuff that we, yeah, sure. for us to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming to all this. Bathroom. So I, used this, it. I used the bathroom. This is kind of the, the, the cool thing I thought of when we were making this out. I mean, really cool just to get the scope of it, you know, yeah. out here. It uh, looks like a lab. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's kind of neat because this would be the first time I've ever had an office in, every, in an area that was not snake room temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> so, it's I great. Uh, it's kind of nice. You it's know, cute. normally working in this thing, environment with snakes. Um, so, mm -hmm. um, and Jace, my employee area here, we're all going to work together, we're not trying to, yeah, kind of team mentality. And then, as you walk through here, we'll have the blue wall with the logo, and it'll be, you know, exactly the same, you know, continuity that we're just going to do Great. So. We wanted to kind of give it that. Right. Uh, that similar look. We go on YouTube or whatever. Like, hey, you know what? It changed, but anyway, it's still the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. I'm spinning. Uh, yeah, it is very good lighting. So, I like the floors and incubator. Same size as we had. You know, we're going to the same there. Um, just so we have it. In a way, the layout's the same. Actually, we're in kind of the same area, a little more dedicated. The thing we did is we separated the areas out a little more with our own sinks, mm -hmm. so that we could have someone working in an area and someone else working on another section of snakes without them talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. Because um, right now, like, if someone's working on one side of the room and I need to do something, I gotta wait potentially hours for them to finish. You know, it's kind of yeah. that one. Because the storage in there for boxes and shipping and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Hatchlings, um, this would be kind of some of the stuff that would be along the walls around this thing around here. Um, just a couple of year in racks we have, all those uh, pre rear hatching racks that keep the whole back to be right out here. And then this would be the adult, we, you know, be pretty much identical to what we have on the other side um, of the other place. The only difference is if we open it up to the wall and start the end of it and we'll it back out. Right, right. Or have to walk past somebody and like squeeze by. Exactly. Yeah. So we made it in a way more efficient and more planned. Yeah, that's great. So this is obviously uh, staging and storage and parking and right. we have massive space above for storage. Okay. So basically the entire building size up there is all up and put some of their monitor part of rooms in there. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Um, very cool. Truck loading dock. Yeah, we noticed that when we were pulling in. Loading dock is a big deal. The rotors. Yeah, yeah. rotors inside. Same building. Nice. Yeah. She proof walls. Yeah. yeah. Much bigger fans. Yep. Better all around. We made a lot of things better. Um, but yeah, so we're pulling it in there, blowing it out there, you know. Aside from you know, any smuggling a little into that whole area, there's, there's no completely different HVAC, everything's separate, so we're not going to have any crossover. So That's good. That's great, man. This is awesome. So, question, what, what tips would you give somebody that is trying to build their, their own little, like, you know, it, whether it be a shed or, a, or like a, a bigger facility? This is my third facility that I've built from the scratch. Okay. You know, so, I would say it's just think through it, you know, spend all the time, you, all the time you spend on the planning stages, it's so well, you know, so well worth it on the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, I, sp I probably went through, you know, probably almost a hundred drawings at this place, you know, just trying to make it a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit mm -hmm. better, imagine myself walking through it and, you know, how it worked and mm -hmm. the next one after this one's going to be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure out all the stuff I figured out yeah. wrong, you know. What, what was uh, one of your big, like, ahas, like, oh man, I should from your first or your second one, do you change to this one like? 
You know, I don't know, I think we're just trying to accomplish different things. The first one was a single room, mm -hmm. right? And it was just really straightforward and it worked fine. But you couldn't have more than one person working in there, period. It was just too yeah. small, you know? And so it, we started getting more help. And I'm like, man, I wish someone else would work in there or I could work in there with someone else we could do it through together. So when we got the new building, we rectified that. We had an office for the first time. But then we began to start getting on top of each other again a mm -hmm. little bit. Um, and then the ability to bring in things like bulk and stuff like that. That's oh, all, yeah. That's all, you know. Mm -hmm. Having a loading dock is like, right. Once you get to a level where you're kind of operating well and, and doing well, you start to think, oh, how can I fix the friction points? Yeah. And that's what this building kind of addressed in a way. Yeah, no, it looks great, man. I, I'm excited to see it done. Like, this is, yeah, thank you. This is very nice and we have a, yeah, we're excited about it. Seems pretty well planned out. We're only about 10 days away from the old move, so. I can't even believe that, you know, it's always, that's how it always goes, like, like that last little bit, you know, like, it really seems like, I can't believe we're going to get from here to here. And, such a short uh, time. Maybe now I'll put a bit in the Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We even have like, uh, like the middle here, we have a, a roll up door. Mm -hmm. and there's a retaining wall below it. So we saw the retaining wall. There. Yeah, yeah. But we can take and uh, drop, the, drop the animal shavings directly into our spreader right here. Exactly the right height. Oh, okay. So stuff like that. This is going to be rolling up a ramp to put it in. It's saving our backs. Yeah, making, it, making it more enjoyable to do the work. Yeah, sure. So. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. It's real smart. I like it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour here with Justin. Um, we got some cool stuff. There's way more stuff here than uh, we can even show. Can't even touch it to be honest. So um, make sure you guys follow him on Instagram and check out his YouTube videos. Also, uh, go on Morph Market, buy some stuff from him, buy a couple t-shirts. He told me that everybody has to buy a t-shirt that watches this. I don't know why, it's just a little rules. <laughs> So thank you so much and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to us and hit that notification bell. You want to tell me what you think now? <laughs> I can try. <laughs> Ben's right. great at ideas. I don't know. Because I'm know. guessing, but I don't know for sure. You know? Anytime I need some ideas, I ask Ben. <laughs> That's not true. You know? He just makes fun of me actually all the time. Mm -hmm. Are you rolling on that? Right. Of course you do. You ask him so you can laugh at that. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens.